Good afternoon, everybody. As you can tell by the sound of my voice, I absolutely thrashed it over the weekend. Um, so forgive me if I sound like I'm a nasal, nasally person. It's a, yeah. Um, so, went to Melbourne with Chan, Tanya, and Natasha, um, otherwise known as Tash. And this, keep in mind, um, this is the first time I've ever been in front of people who are not only my idols, but, um, people who are essentially famous. I've never met a famous, a famous person in my life. Um, so this was a first for me. Um, so, first of all, I guess I better talk about the trip to Melbourne. Now, this may have been my fault, I'm not too sure, um, but going through security, um, I had my manicure scissors taken from me and thrown in the bin. What they initially wanted to do was throw my entire, um, my entire manicure set in the bin but they since had found out that it was just my scissors that were doing it and yada 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 so basically to them I am a threat because I was carry carrying a pair of manicure scissors in my manicure set so my set is now incomplete not much I can do about that apart from go buy some new manicure scissors so we got there, it was fairly early in the evening um, and the immediate thing that Tanya did when she got into the room was laid down on the carpet, camera up and um, started snapping photos of the view from our hotel room. Um, <clears throat> now she'll hate me for saying this but Chan is an absolute saint and a champion at that. Um, she paid for everything, or well, basically everything on the trip. She paid for the hotel room, the tattoos, everything. And for that, she is... I, I want to do something good for her. Um, I don't know how else to help her. Um, but I will say this, if you haven't already, go over, have a little sneaky peek little uh, route around in her vlogs and video games. See if you like any of her content. And um, if you do, press the subscribe button, please, for her. But, okay, so apart from that, we got to meet Jared, Jensen, Matt, Richard, Emily, Amy. Um, we got to meet people like uh, Light the... <laughs> loud and swinging that's the one um we also got to listen to their music and <laughs> live and uh screamed our lungs out hence why the voice is a little bit on the rusty side i'm not the uh the screamer type of gamer so it's uh a little bit hard on my on my vocal cords at the moment um what else what else so we got to do photos with jared and jensen matt richard rob amy emily um we did group photos with with loud and swinging we also did photos with the hillywood um content creators uh i was a little bit more reserved and a lot quiet because one it's a big place lots of people and i have mild to minimal social anxiety so being around a lot of people my back muscles were bunched up like you wouldn't believe um we i'm not going to show any photos i'm not going to show anything that's been autographed or anything like that um those are memories i will take with me everywhere um, I think my boyfriend Michael is going to be laminating the cards. 
Um, I would get the thing, the other articles that were signed, but <laughs> that's uh, my ideas book for videos. Um, uh, yeah, basic, basically long trips. So anywhere I go, planes um, across the sea, but that'll be very rare for, for you guys to see snapshots of the sea because I have a fear of drowning. Um, so getting back on topic before I completely veer off into something else, we also had room service and things like that. We got there and we weren't going to go out for our lives. We were buggered. Um, by we, I meant Chan, Tanya and myself. Um, the trip to Melbourne was about an hour um, by plane. So my uh, fear of heights kicked in. Yay. Um, and... No, we, we had fun over the weekend. We got to experience a lot of things that we haven't experienced, such as what Chan has said, um, like the room service and the bellboys and the um, just generally being doted upon. We're not used to that. We're used to doing everything ourselves. We are used to basically having independence. <laughs> um and I know that I get a little bit eh when I'm around people who are willing to help. Not of my own accord, it's I don't expect it. Um, we, yeah, we met Jared and Jensen and Matt and Rob and Richard and Emily and Amy. We sat in, for, for me it was a few panels, so I sat in on the Emily Amy panel the um jared and jensen panel which was the first one of the day um we had woken up at about i think one of us woke up at six o'clock the rest of us were up whenever the hell we got up so for me it was about 5 30 nearly six o'clock um and we had breakfast uh, which i will be putting pictures up on tumblr on twitter on facebook basically everywhere um, now there was also the concert on the same day as the con. We got to listen to Loud and Swinging. We also got to hear Jensen sing. We got to hear, um, Matt sing. Matt, the cheeky little bugger, was going up through the, through the crowd and just high-fiving people. He must have been, he must have had, um, a lot to drink that night. That's all I'm going to say. That or his very high energy. And I can remember only one person being higher in their energy. Um, we, before we went to the concert, we ended up having sushi. Um, and that, that was like the first thing we'd eaten all day, apart from breakfast. So we hadn't had lunch. We were running on coffee and... Um, and, 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 uh, fizzy drinks for the whole day. So we were absolutely buggered by the time the concert had ended at about 10 o'clock at night. We got back to the room. We all fell asleep. We woke up somewhere around 9, 10 in the morning on Sunday. And we spontaneously, spon spontaneously, because we it had been in discussions in the group chat, um, about getting tattoos and now Chan has shown you hers and Tanya's I'm about to show you mine but if I can find a photo of Natasha's I will so this one has a lot of meaning it's not just um, <clears throat> it's not just for the supernatural it's not just Jared's um, it's not just Jared's sign for, you know, he, anybody who knows what it's like to go through depression or have anxiety or any sort of mental illness knows that it's a struggle day and day in, day out. Um, so this is a reminder that no matter what, keep going. 
you will eventually push yourself so much always look for something positive in your day even if it's something small what I had done years uh, about three or four years ago was I had started doing uh, daily things that I'm grateful for even if it's small write it down write the positive things down that happened in your day and all the bad stuff that's happened no it won't go away but concentrate on those positive things um but this is going to be a reminder to basically everyone and it's a permanent reminder for me so i'll wake up in the morning i'll look down i'll be like right i've got to get this done i've got to make sure that no matter what my day throws at me i keep powering through um but for me personally it runs over my scars of a time where i was a completely different person um but it's in a very very it's in a very sensitive spot at the moment so it's quite touch and go with it um i can't pull my shirt sleeve down because every time it rubs against the um the little seam here it uh it hurts um <laughs> we only got it done on sunday so there's a fair amount of healing to do but we have the cream specified for tattoos it also helps with cuts with um with sunburn and nappy rash or not nappy rash it haps, helps with chafing and um rashes at the moment it's just being used to make sure my tattoo stays at least a little bit uh protected and you know free of all the germs <laughs> last thing you need is an infected tattoo um but um what else did we do we went on the star now the star is about 40 40 44 stories high so that was fun um we got photos we did the uh because we're all uh when we're all in a line from chan to uh tash or natasha we look like a um a Wi-Fi bar, <laughs> as as Chan had put it. Um, Chan being the tallest, Tanya is like this much taller than me, and then it goes myself and Natasha. It was a phenomenal weekend from start to finish. We had <laughs> the time of our lives. Sorry to quote a song, but yeah. Um, <laughs> We had as much fun as we could. It was also a highly emotional weekend. Nerves were up. We were exhausted because we only got three hours or less of sleep. Or in, case, or in case, Chan's case, she only got about an hour, maybe 20 minutes, if that, of sleep. And it was... <laughs> she, she got up at four, was starting to get ready... The rest of us slowly dragged our asses out of bed the day of the con. Um, and we were ready by like 7-ish. The con started at about 8.30, so we had to scoot scoot our boot boots, so to speak. Um, what else did we do? We walked around Melbourne. We got to experience the freezing cold weather they get over there. It may have only been seven degrees. And I feel sorry for the poor buggers that were here in Bathurst on Sunday because it was minus one. Fun times for you all. <laughs> um, yes, um, I got snaps of uh, the frost in the morning. <laughs> we all had fun. We all got our tattoos. We all um, experienced things that we had an experience before, namely meeting people um, in person, um, meeting our idols in person, um, and I'll tell you what, 
My nerves got the better of me when I was getting the photos done. By the time I had gotten Jared Jensen and Matt, I was like, you know that how the leaves blow in the wind sometimes? That was me. I walked out and Natasha gave me a hug. She's like, oh honey. And I'm like, yeah, no, this is the first time ever I'm ever doing this. So I'm not shocked that this is the reaction I've had. Um, I wasn't going to be the typical fangirl and go, ah, and like run up to them and glomp the hell out of them. Um, no, as soon as Jared asked, you know, he, he said the same thing he said to Chan, which I'm pretty sure he said to everybody. But, um, yeah, so he asked for a hug and I, meanwhile, I don't like my photo and I'd like to redo it, but that's going to have to wait. Um, I, <laughs> I couldn't say anything, but yeah, like, oh, sure. Like I wasn't expecting any of them to want to touch me or really anyone, but yeah. Um, by the time autographs were rolling around, I was pretty much calm. I wished everyone, including Jared, um, I completely skipped over Jensen. Um, but I hoped that they had, well, I wished them well, um, in, in, uh, Australia. I know for some of them, it wasn't a first time they had gone to Sydney and if that isn't something <laughs> so we had that I wish them all well and that Australia treated them well and that they were having fun and they were just shocked because they hadn't heard me speak I, w I wasn't I I'm what uh, Natasha or was it Chan who was it that akin me someone akin me to a quiet fangirl um, and it couldn't be more true. Like, I look up to them. I appreciate what they've done for the uh, supernatural community. Not just the supernatural community, even. For the, for their whole fan base. Um, I, I love the fact that Jensen, not Jensen, Jarrett has been able to rally behind these things. Um, dealing with like depression and making making people aware of the fact that yes while we do have these mental illnesses we won't let it bite us um i'm 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 at a loss for words about how the weekend went um i sent a fair few people pictures of tattoos i've been sent since been tagged in a lot of photos from the weekend um <laughs> so thanks natasha thanks chan for the, the tags i see them I w i've looked at them all um and yeah it's it was just phenomenal it was it was a phenomenal weekend i it was a once in a lifetime sort of thing i am um, incredibly proud of the girls for for keeping up the positivity even if they weren't even if they were tired or run down um but they they helped keep me and tanya first timers for doing well for tanya it was first time in melbourne first time meeting uh people uh meeting famous people um, and, uh, being in a, in a, in a con, so being at the Supernatural Convention, um, for me, it's not the first time I've been in Melbourne, um, I think the last time I was in Melbourne, I was about six years, oh no, no, I lived in Melbourne before I was six, but the, the other time I went down was like five years ago? Yeah, about five years ago, um, we went to go see some family friends. I was with my auntie and uncle at the time. 
Um, so it's not the first Melbourne rodeo I've been to, but yeah, it's definitely one of the highlights. Um, and I am, I'm so happy right now. Um, I may be a little bit tired, my voice may be a little bit worn, but I'm happy. I got to spend a weekend with my friends and I got to meet new people. Um, but yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, or afternoon, depending on where in the world you are. Bye.